boys and girls, my name is Ms. Stevens and I am a math specialist here at Agora and I am here to read to you for Earth Day this year. We are going to be reading a book called Hey You, Get Off Our Train. It's written and illustrated by John Burningham. You can see a dog with a shovel. Hmm, that's an interesting little thing there. So let's take a look. I can turn the page. Here we go. Here's our title page. You can see our train traveling through space. And it says, hey, you get off our train, John Birmingham. And it is a Trumpet Club special edition book. This book I chose for Earth Day because this is all about endangered species in the world that we're losing because we're, we as humans are doing things to their habitat, where they live. So John Burningham wrote this book in 1989. You see that down here on this copyright. Getting us ready to start taking care of the animals in the world. You aren't still playing with that train, are you? Get into bed immediately. You know you have to get up early for school tomorrow. Did you ever hear that? Your learning coach, your mom, your dad, your grandma says, come on, it's bedtime, and you're doing something you're not supposed to do. This little boy is playing with his toy train that's at the foot of his bed. Here is your pajama case dog. I found it under the cushions in the sitting room. Now, settle down and go to sleep. He pulls in his pajama dog and snuggles in with it. And then something magical starts to happen in his room. There's his train. There he is. And there's Pajama Dog, and the train is moving. I wonder where it's going. We're ready to go now. Don't make too much noise with that shovel. So we can see Pajama Dog is shoveling the coal into the fire to make the steam that's moving the train. And there they go, off into the night. Here's a dog. I like that the dog always sits on top of the coal car. <clears throat> Turns to daylight. And if there's time, We'll have a picnic. It looks as if it's going to be foggy ahead. If it is, we can play ghosts. I've never played ghosts before. Look at this. Isn't that cool? They make themselves look scary as they walk into the night. Kind of fun. Now, here's the first animal that they meet. And you want to know what they say? Hey, get off our train. And you want to know what the elephant says? He says, please let me come on your train. Someone is coming to cut off my tusks, and soon there won't be any of us left. It's him pleading his case. Look, they let him stay on the train. It's going to be very hot today. If it is, 
we must find somewhere for you to go for a swim. So the little boy knows enough that the elephant's going to need to be wet today in order to be safe. Let's see if they find some place. Looks like they found some place to swim. Okay, here comes our next endangered species. Can you tell what it is? Go ahead and shout it out. That's right, it's a seal. Okay, and what is the little boy going to say? Hey, get off our train. This time, even the elephant is saying it. And what's the seal going to say? Please, let me come with you on your train. If I stay in the sea, I won't have enough to eat because people are making the water very dirty and they are catching too many fish. And soon there won't be any of us left. I wonder if they let the seal stay. What do you think? Are they going to let him stay? Here's the train. I think there's going to be a strong wind. If there is, we can fly kite. I'm not a very good kite flyer. I have a hard time getting mine in the air. But look at this. They were all able to do it, even. Our friend the seal. All right, the next is a bird. It's a crane, a sandhill crane. And what are they all going to say to him? I don't know why they keep saying this, but here we go. Hey, get off our train. And the crane is going to say, please let me come with you on your train. I live in the marshes and they are draining the water out of them. I can't live on dry land and soon there won't be any of us left. All these animals, the crane, the seal, and the elephants are all worried about being the last ones. It looks as if it's going to rain soon. If it does, we can all muck about with umbrellas. Let's find out if the crane is on the train. They are mucking about with umbrellas, and there's the crane. Okay, I'm going to show you the next character that gets on the train, and you shout out what kind of animal it is. Are you ready? Okay, ready, set, go. Did you say tiger? Good job. All right. What are they all going to say now? Hey, get off our train. And we know the tiger is going to say, please let me come with you on your train. They are cutting down the forests where I live and soon there will be none of us left. Hmm. I hope they let him come. Ooh, it looks like it might be snowing. Hmm. Oh, I think there's enough snow now. If there is, we can all throw snowballs. Let's see if the tiger is throwing any snowballs. And look at the size of the snowball the elephant has. Holy moly. That looks like it could be a snowman snowball. 
All right, we're ready for our very last visitor to the train. And I'm going to give you a hint. See if you can guess it before I turn the page this time, okay? This animal lives way up far in the north. It's a mammal. It's yellowish white in color. It eats seals and other fish. Did you figure it out yet? And it's actually considered an ocean mammal because it spends most of its time in the water. And the ocean that it spends most of its time in is the Arctic Ocean. And the reason they consider it a water mammal is because most of the Arctic Ocean is frozen. And this particular mammal spends most of its time on the frozen icebergs as well as in the water. Did you guess it? Okay, here we go. Did you say polar bear? Good job. All right, what do all of our friends say? They say, hey, get off our train. And what does the polar bear say? Please let me ride on your train. I live in the frozen north, and somebody wants my fur to make a coat. And soon, there will be none of us left. Hmm. If it does not stop snowing soon, we are going to get stuck. It is all hands on deck, scooping them out of the snow so that the train can keep going. And the little boy says, we must go back now. I have to get up early for school. And so our train heads back into the night back to the little boy's room. So do you think it was all a dream? This is my favorite part. Here's his mom. Here's the toy train. It's morning and mom says, you must get out of, get up immediately or you will be late for school. Heard that before, I know I have. <sighs> then she says, there are lots of animals in the house. There's an elephant in the hall, a seal in the bathtub, a crane in the laundry, a tiger on the stairs, and a polar bear by the fridge. Does this have anything to do with you? And that, boys and girls, is the end of our story. And just so you remember what the title was, Hey, Get Off Our Train, written and illustrated by John Burningham. You can find it in your local library. And, hmm, I guess it wasn't all a dream. I hope you enjoyed our story, and we'll see you back soon.